In this video, we are going to go over branch administration on the website itself. So now there are two aspects of branch administration, one for the contact database and one for our main website. And in this video, we're going to go over the features and functionality that you as a branch administrator have access to on our website. As a branch administrator, you have special access and special rights to our website and to our contact database. These ac this access is different from a member's access. So when you were to log into the website, your member dashboard is going to be a little bit different than that of a member. Uh, branch administrators can be everyone from a chairman, a vice chairman, a president, a vice president, secretary, membership secretary, treasurer, IT coordinator, youth coordinator, or anybody that you deem or you would like to give extended access and functionality to your branch through the RSCDS website. So to begin, let's log into the website. And of course, logging in, you go to the My RSCDS tab like we just did, and you input your email address. And log in. After you've logged in, you will be taken to your member dashboard. Now, regular members will just see this content here. But for those who are branch administrators, you will have a separate three boxes down below under branch administration. And these three boxes is what we will be going over today in this video. There will be another video series about branch administration through the contact database or CDB, but for now let's just focus on these three boxes. So the first of these boxes is view the page. Now for this video and for the examples going forward, I have made myself an administrator of the Aberdeen branch. For you and your branch, it will say view your branch page. So view Atlanta branch page, view Cape Town page, view Toronto page. But for now, we're just going to pretend that we are the Aberdeen branch. So let's go and view their page. After clicking that box, view branch page, you'll be taken to your branch page or profile through the branch and group finder. Here you can see your branch details, your branch profile, your branch location, contact, how to contact your branch, a branch gallery, and over here is where the next branch event will appear. And just a side note, if I was going to contact this branch, say if I was a, a, a member of the public or a user looking to get in touch with Aberdeen, I would put in my information here and the message would be sent directly to whichever email that you have set up. So. Let's go back to our member dashboard. So back on our member dashboard, we have gone to the first box, viewing our branch page. Now let's continue on and edit features that we saw on our branch page, such as the logo, our header image, a gallery, and the upcoming event. So clicking that box, you'll be taken to a page where you can edit different pieces or different parts of your branch profile page. So as you can see, it has been copied over a little bit onto this page. Your header image here and your logo. Now just as a side note, if your branch does not have a logo, you are more than welcome to keep the default crown logo here. So as we scroll down, we can see that we can, we can affect different things here. The title, Aberdeen, that's the name of our branch. And just as a side note, going forward, Please, if you change this, get in touch with the RSCDS staff team first. We would like to keep it all just the title of your branch name and exclude, and, and exclude the term branch. So Aberdeen branch, we would like you to just to keep it the title or the name of your branch, please. So if you would like to choose a logo and your branch has a logo, you can do it here. You can choose file, which will access your computer's directory. And please read the instructions below before choosing a file to upload. So as you can see, our header image we have already uploaded. If you would like to remove it, just click remove. And when you go and view the branch page, this header image will disappear. In your media gallery, we have different images that we have uploaded. As you can see, when clicking down, you have the option to edit. You can 
change the text of it so when people scroll over the image that's what will pop up. Or you can remove the image altogether. So let's remove the image. And we'll go into this one and we'll edit this. And we'll keep that one. I like that one. So down here you can add a branch gallery image. So below that we have an event. Now you can set up any event that you like, whether it be an upcoming class, an upcoming branch event, an upcoming major weekend or school, whichever you like. So for here we can choose the image of the event, we can choose the title of the event, and the start date, the end date, the location, and the link. So now that we have selected all the information, we have put in our event, we have put in our media gallery, a possible logo and header image, you can either save and it will save it all, or you can go to preview and you can preview your branch profile page. So let's go to save. So once we click save, we'll be taken back to our branch profile page. And as you can see, the header image is now gone. We can scroll down. And as you can see, we have now taken out one image from our gallery. If we click on it, then the image expands. And you can X and click out of it. So that is how to change and update your branch logo, which will appear here and in the search options and results when people search through the branch and group finder. Your header image, which will appear up here. Your branch gallery and any possible branch event. Now that we're back here on your member dashboard, we have gone into the first box to view your branch profile page. The second box on how to edit your branch's logo, header, gallery, or upcoming event. And this box will lead us into our next website tutorial video where we explore the contact database and how to manage your branch details and your membership details. For now, thanks for watching and have a nice day.